Hi, I'm Zachary Smyers, educator at the Hampton Roads Naval Museum, and today I'm at the Eastern Shore Wildlife Refuge in Northampton County on the seaside, and I'm currently standing by a 67-foot gun barrel weighing in at 119 tons that was used on the battleship Missouri during World War II and the Korean War. USS Missouri was an Iowa-class battleship that utilized the Mark 7 16-inch gun. can fire either a 1,900-pound high-explosive projectile or a 2,700-pound armor-piercing projectile at a range over 20 miles. The Iowa-class battleships carried nine 16-inch guns total in three turrets. Each turret had 77 sailors working simultaneously to make the guns fire. An efficient crew could fire two 16-inch projectiles in a minute. The barrel on display is number 393 and is from Missouri's rear turret or turret number 3. Barrel number 393 was manufactured in 1943 at the Washington Navy Yard. It was the left barrel of turret number 3 and arrived on board the Missouri in 1945. It saw action off of Okinawa and was present for the signing of the surrender document by the Japanese on September 2, 1945 in Tokyo Harbor. While Barrel 393 saw limited action during World War II, it was used much more with the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950. The Missouri was the first Iowa-class battleship to arrive on station in Korea, and it immediately began providing naval gunfire support for United Nations forces. The Missouri operated off of Korea from September of 1950 until March of 1953. According to the Navy's Star Gauge Report, which records every shot fired by the barrel for longevity purposes, barrel number 393 fired a total of 227 16-inch projectiles during World War II and the Korean War. All of Missouri's barrels were replaced between 1953 and 1954, and barrel number 393 was placed in storage at St. Julian's Creek Navy Yard in Portsmouth. In 2013, the gun barrel was installed at its current location to portray a large coastal cannon that would have been at this site, then called Fort John Custis, during World War II. The fort was part of a coastal defense network, including guns at Fort Monroe and Fort Story, that was meant to defend the Chesapeake Bay and Hampton Roads from enemy naval threats. Today you can visit barrel 393 from the USS Missouri, which is just a short distance walk from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel Visitor Center. The barrel represents the strong ties this region has to the Navy and its history. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Zachary Smyers with the Hampton Rose Naval Museum.